guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Hannah and in today's video we are doing some Halloween console styling so if this is something you are interested in watching just keep on watching and if you aren't already follow me on Instagram I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor but without further ado let's get into this video all right so this is a very spontaneous kind of last minute video I don't typically decorate for the Halloween holiday but this video was inspired by my daughter she really wanted to decorate her room for Halloween so we ended up going to Michael's to pick out a couple things for her to decorate her room and it just kind of sparked this idea of like maybe I should just put together a really fun console styling video for those that do like to decorate for Halloween so within this video, I have done about six different styles and about 90% of the items within each style are all items that I currently own out of my home decor collection. I spent roughly about $35 on items for this video and I did have some items from previous years that I utilized as well, but everything is very simple. Everything is kind of a classy take on Halloween. So if you wanna do a little bit of Halloween without it feeling a little bit over the top, I kind of showed you guys how to utilize just everyday home decor with a little bit of Halloween space added within this video everything is going to be linked down below by style so if you see something in my video that you want to check out be sure to look down below in the description box but without further ado you guys let's get into this video first things first the girls and I headed over to Michael's to pick up a couple more Halloween inspired items for this console styling video we went straight to the 50% off section where they were having a bunch of their Halloween items on sale and again I picked up a couple items because I don't have a ton including this really fun wicker moss wreath this round moss wreath, a spool of black and white striped ribbon, and then a really cute October 31st wood sign out of their crafting department. And this trip cost me around $35 after the 50% off discount. This first style utilized everything that I currently owned, including the Halloween decor from previous years. Going through the decor from left to right, the black vase is from a vintage shop here in San Diego. The stems are actually branches that I cut off from a tree outside. The stack of coffee table books are just regular home decor coffee table books that I flipped around so you saw the pages instead of the spines. The cream candle pillars that are in a fluted shape are from Hobby Lobby. The picture leaned up against the mirrors is also from Hobby Lobby. The cloche with the skeleton is from Amazon. And then that brass candelabra is also from Amazon. And then the little spiders, the webs, and the little skeleton are all from Party City. Now this next style doesn't scream Halloween. I definitely went with a less is more approach as far as the Halloween decor went because I definitely did something a little bit more dramatic on the base of my console table, bringing in all of these pumpkins. I loved them. Starting from left to right, the wood hand-carved vessel is from a vintage shop here in San Diego. I have paired within that three maple stems from Hobby Lobby, the glass cloche with the little spider that's from Amazon, the brass candlesticks are also from Hobby Lobby and then I did kind of a mix match of candlesticks. I did black and I did white twisted. The books that the little skeleton is sitting on are actually my husband's just everyday reading books. I just removed the cover for an exposed look and I flipped them around so all you saw were the pages instead of the spines. And then that lamp is from Target. This next style is a little bit untraditional for Halloween. Starting from left to right, the vessel is from Restoration Hardware. Paired in that is the same branches I pulled from an outside tree. The black rod iron candlesticks are from Amazon. And then I tied that black and white ribbon that I got from Michaels just at the tops of them just to add a little bit more visual interest. And then on the right hand side, I have those two moss wreaths that I got from Michaels as well, the big and the small. The same books that are my husband's the little skeleton on top, and then the spiders. I love this next style. It's a very moody style for Halloween and I just love, love the color scheme. So starting from left to right, I have the newest vase that I picked up from Amazon. The stems within that vase are also from Amazon. The candelabra is also from Amazon. And then I have an open book with a pair of little black snakes that I got from the Target dollar section. I have that same cloche that I just removed the base and I popped in some live pomegranate. 
pomegranates that I had in my fruit bowl. I then have my sister's fall burning candle with the biscuit mold to kind of ground that candle. And then that same black target vase. I just love the style, I love the colors, and I love how it turned out. This next style is definitely a neutral color palette starting from left to right. The vase is from Amazon. It is currently sold out, unfortunately. All the stems within the vase are from Hobby Lobby. Those same books of my husband, the little skeleton on top. And then those are actually corn stalks that I pulled from outside. We had some dried corn stalks from our garden that I utilized. This framed picture is from Target. It comes in a two pack. These same fluted candle pillars are from Hobby Lobby. I used the base from the cloche to house the candles and then the black Target lamp to the right. Here is the last and final style for our Halloween entry table styling video. Starting from left to right, the black glossy vase is from my vintage shop here in San Diego. Those stems within it, I have three of them are from Michaels. And then I have the same three books of my husband's and then I just stacked a little skeleton from Target there on top of them. You should recognize that little October 31st wood sign. That one was from Michaels. And then to the right of that, I used the marble pedestal bowl that I received from Amazon. And then I just bundled up a bunch of those black plastic snakes that I got from Target in there. I then have the brass candelabra from Amazon paired with the Hobby Lobby twisted white candlesticks. And then the last and final element is the glass cloche that I received from Amazon. And then within that cloche, I actually have a glass container of matches that I have paired with a little thing of spider webs and spiders. And that is the last and final Halloween style for you all. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween console styling video and got some inspiration as always. But before you leave, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And until next video, I love you guys so much, and we'll see you then. Peace.